so the story with the Lystragonians, it's like double devastating because something devastating happened before that. Um, Aeolus, the god of winds, gave them like a special bag and he had tied up all of the other winds except for the one that would direct them towards Ithaca, Odysseus's home. Mm -hmm. And so all of the other winds were packaged up in this bag and, you know, it was like release them when you get home kind of thing. And the men all of a sudden decide, oh, Odysseus is hiding something from us because for whatever reason, he doesn't tell them what it is. And they're like, there must be some sort of treasure in here from Aeolus. Let's look in the inside, which blows them back. He has to have this embarrassing conversation with Aeolus where he's like, I think you're screwed because like that happening means some God's mad at you. So like, bye. <laughs> um, and uh, then they get to the Lystragonians when they get there, they have 12 ships. They leave with one. Like, um, it's that bad. So they land on the island. He sends some messengers, and they go and meet the king. And the king immediately eats one of the three men that's there. So the other <laughs> two run and scamper back. And they had all parked their ships in this cove, except for Odysseus. And the cove was surrounded by cliffs. So these giant people are then hauling rocks at their ships that are down on the cliffs. And since Odysseus wasn't parked there, he just cuts his losses and leaves. And the rest of the ships get massacred. Like they, they talk about the Lystragonians like spearing them like fish to take back home to eat. So it's like, it's really, really devastating. You think he lost 11 ships of men 